Hey there folks, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and these are six big, bold Beatles blockbusters. As always, the uh, links to the songs are in the comments section below this video. Now I want to preface this, two things. First, this is all early Beatles stuff, I'll call it Beatlemania area, era Beatles stuff. Or it could be in that area too. They were over there. They were over there being the Beatles and being Beatlerific. And some Beatlemania occurred. The Cure, more Beatles. <clears throat> so there's that. But also, tied into that, the impetus for this is I've got finally, they did these beautiful new remasters of the two Beatles box sets, or double albums that came out years ago, 62 to 66 and 67 to 70, known as the red set and the blue set. And I finally got the red set. I haven't got the blue set yet because I haven't had the money because I am poor. That's the word. But I was able to scrounge up some and get this. And let me tell you, they did some restoration on a bunch of the material. It's never sounded better. And I picked some that really show this off. So let's, now we can get into it. Song number one is I Want to Hold Your Hand. You might have heard of it. Um, <clears throat> it has never sounded as fresh as it does here. Uh, listen to the spread of the vocals. Listen to, um, you can suddenly hear more of Ringo's kick. And, and the whole thing has more punch and it sounds fresh and vibrant. Um, and you know what? It's a rock and roll song. Uh, clearly, you can hear their influences of the past with the high woos, and you know, you hear sort of a history of their, you know, what they loved in, in the rock and roll from the days before them. Uh, but it's a, it's got a great urgency to it, and it is, as I noticed, a, a pattern here. The earliest stuff is almost always addressed to a girl. They're singing to the girl. I want to hold your hand. So that changes over time. But this is, you know, we're coming here in at the beginning. And uh, song number one, I want to hold your hand. Fabulous song. Song number two. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's this boy. Another one sung too. This boy wouldn't mind the pain if this boy gets you back again. Uh, I love the three-part harmonies on this, and now they're they're spread out. You know, with John taking lead. Want to hold your hand was kind of John and Paul together with George joining on harmony. Um, this is pretty much harmony through most of it. Slight, slightly ballady with some urgency. John's voice gets a little grit in there when he's, you know, when that part comes up with the, this boy would be happy just to love you. But oh my, I love this song. Now something I'm just going to deviate from the list for a minute. I love its companion song, which is Yes It Is. Just, just, just making a note of that. It's not on here though. But this boy, I always loved this song. I always loved all of these, but that was one of them. And they used to call it Ringo's theme too. So it is song number two. It is this boy. Song number three, All My Loving. I had a funny story I got to tell you about this. So back in the early 90s, I want to say like 93, 92, 93, <clears throat> I had gone to a show with my friend Pete in New York City, and it ended so late, there were no trains going home for me to go home to Connecticut. There just weren't. So we ended up having to go to um, Long Island, where Pete's friend Billy Brown was, and I slept on a couch there and 
early in the morning, I am woken up out of a dead sleep by Billy wanting me to immediately sing the harmony vocal on All My Lovin' just out of having, I don't know, what did I have? Maybe three and a half, four hours of sleep. And I, but I did it, you know. And he was impressed. He's like, you know. But uh, I'll always remember that. That was just so funny. And uh, it was a, an unforgettable time. Anyway, and I, when I was a little kid, uh, a neighbor, Eddie Creberry, I was over Joe Romano's in his basement where they had a pool table. And Eddie, I was, you know, I must have been six or seven or whatever I was, came down and sang this very rude version of it little version of it that I will tell you now was what was it um, close your eyes spread your legs and I'll fertilize your eggs and I'll send all my coming to you which was you know mystifying to you know a six year old seven year old whatever I was at that time anyway the real song all my loving to me has always been ruled by Paul's bass um, and it's just got that energy. It's it's flying, you know, with that do 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 you know, bass line going down with the lines going. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow. I'll miss you again. Singing to the girl. Remember, I'll always be true. What a great song! Everyone's on on this, aren't they? They're just having a, a grand old time. It is a partying bit of Beatles there. So it is song number three, All My Lovin'. Song number four, And I Love Her. Beautiful ballad, sung by Paul. You know, um, and this time it's a change in perspective. He's talking about the girl. I give her all my love. That's all I do. And if you saw my girl, you'd love her too. And I love her. Um, it's beautiful. It's just a beautiful piece. It is Paul singing, isn't it? What am I thinking of? I believe it is. It is unless it isn't. Maybe I, my, my brain isn't... I'm recording this at... What time is it? It is 2.15. And I'm, I've had very little sleep. But um, let's just say it is. If it wasn't, it is now, okay? Um, and it is song number four, and I love her. Wait, but, but first, before I go any further, I love George's little guitar lead in this, where it modulates up... Is it a full step or a half step? Whichever it is. And it's just brilliant. So, just had to say that. Anyway, that's song number four, and I love her. Song number five is I Feel Fine, which was one of the first songs, got to be one of the very first, if not the first, charting pop slash rock song that starts with guitar feedback and Ringo's Rolling Toms I love them in there um, great John vocal and he's talking about himself in this I feel fine she's in love with me and I feel fine so you see we've gone from singing to her to singing about her to singing about yourself interesting growth within just a span of a couple of years um, brilliant guitar riff and again Ringo's rolling toms and Paul's bass plays perfectly off it and those great the, the, I'm so sad that she's my little girl she's so sad she's telling all the world or I'm so glad that she's my little girl and she's so glad I, I have a whole other song in my head 
there's like a substitute universe. This is like sort of the multiverse, the Beatles, the Beatleverse. Because she's so glad she's telling all the world. He's so glad that she's his little girl. She, you know, and uh, he's. He, I, I believe he's talking about a woman who's very short in stature. That's why she's his little girl, um, or not. So it's. I feel fine with with Ringo's Rolling Toms, and and just just wonderful work from everyone. And so song number six, we uh, finish with Ticket to Ride another John uh, song about a girl leaving him because she's got a ticket to ride and she don't care another great guitar riff oh, another maybe even a little more electric um, everything about it is brilliant you see the growth within the band again and I don't mean to beat a dead horse here that would have a weird sound, and I don't think that the uh, audio on my camera could capture it with any kind of accuracy. Uh, but we see how quickly these guys, because they were just chugging, like a, like a, I shouldn't even say chugging, they were barreling like a freight train at that point, writing and writing and writing and playing and playing and writing and playing all over the world and being the Beatles doing the movies you know we're already into their second movie help and uh, there's there's no end in sight at that point and uh, you know it's just peak after peak after peak and Ticket to Ride is surely one of those. It's one of those beloved. It's a it's a cornerstone piece of pop and rock, and uh, it's here for your enjoyment. And all again, I come back to listen to the links that I put because I'm going to put them all to the 2023 remastered versions of them, because they're just spectacular. And uh, that is song number six. Ticket to Ride. These have been six big, bold Beatles blockbusters. In fact, it's a bonanza. It's a bonanza of blockbusters. A Brobdenagian braggadocio. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.